Hello, thank you for joining me. Today I'm out for a walk in the Warwickshire countryside. I'm just walking along this country lane. And what we're going to do in today's video, we're going to go and have a look at the longest cast iron aqueduct there is. And it also happens to go not only over a railway, but also over a disused railway. So it should be quite exciting. Oh, and we're expecting a steam train. So it's going to be quite a fun video. Um, here it is. That is the Edstone Aqueduct. You can see it stretching across the valley. It takes the stratford upon avon Canal over, well, it, there's a river just here on the other side of the road. We'll have a look as soon as this car's passed. It's a tributary of the river Arl, and then it just takes the canal over the wider valley. So if we have a look here, here's our first bit of water in the video. There you go. I can't see this river has a name if you're local and you know, do tell me about it's rather it's just a tributary of the river Arl. As we can see, the aqueduct's fairly obvious. Not so obvious, but just along here along is the track bed of the old Olcester branch. So a railway line ran along there, but it's been closed quite a while now. So what we're going to do, we'll go up onto the aqueduct. We should be able to see the railway track bed. should be a bit more obvious when we're up there. And as I said, there's also a current railway line running underneath it. That is the North Warwickshire line, the line from stratford upon avon up towards Tisley which um, does have quite a few steam trains on of them. On Most of them are run by vintage trains. Today's steam train is the railway touring company's Stratford Flyer. And it's uh, going to be making its return journey back to Manchester, expecting to see a Black 5. So that's what we're going to see. So there we go, just walks under the aqueduct. See it above us. We've got to go up. We're going to go up these steps, and then we're going to cross it. So I'm really quite excited. I think it's going to be really quite an interesting thing to do so there you go stretches across the valley we've now got to walk up all of these steps there we are at the top of the steps and here is the canal that way is looking towards stratford upon avon and the aqueduct itself stretches out in front of us let's go across it already looking quite exciting because the path dips down to the bottom of the aqueduct. So you're gonna have, have the water at a different level. So nearly always when you walk beside canals, this is how you walk by canals, even on aqueducts. Interesting that there's a plaque here from the Transport Trust, the Edstone Aqueduct. Um, yeah, so it said it um, opened in 1816. Let's go across the aqueduct. It's really quite exciting, isn't it? It just madly stretches out over the valley. There are a couple of other aqueducts on, on this canal, but I don't think they're quite as impressive as this. Look at it. Now this is having the water, like I say, the water's in a trough. So it feels like, um, you know what it feels like? It feels like I could get a remote control boat and play with a boat in here. I don't know if you're supposed to. Well, there's not many barges about, so probably could get away with it, whether you're supposed to or not, I don't know, but it does sound like fun. It just feels sort of surreal walking with water at this level next to you. It just doesn't sort of feel normal. So that is the road which we've just walked along beside. As I said, there's a river down there, or should I say a stream, it seems to be an unnamed stream down below us. Now, this here, where these trees are, this is the track bed of the old Olcester branch, so that's closed. And then through the trees, we can see some railway lines. Now, as we step out to be above the railway lines, interestingly, it gives the impression, well, that as you can see, the, the track split. I don't think there was ever a station here. I think it's purely that, can I see? Yeah, you can just see, I'll show you this way around. Um, you can just see, there is a brick pillar there. So I just don't like putting the camera too close to the edge because if I drop it, I probably won't ever get it back. Um, so there is a brick pillar basically right between the two railway lines. So that is why, um, yeah, we can see the top of the pillar now. That is why the tracks split slightly. Apparently below here, there's a pipe and steam locomotives used to sometimes take on water from the canal above. I don't suppose they still can. Whether the pipe's still there or not, it'd be interesting. I could have seen a cab ride of this line and you might be able to see it, but um, they used to take water. And allegedly, 
a fish once found its way down and into the boiler of the steam locomotive. There was that Thomas the Tank Engine story called Thomas Goes Fishing, where he always said he wanted to go fishing and they, the water pump was out of water. So when they were stopped on a viaduct over a river, they, they um, used a bucket to get fish and then suddenly Thomas, I remember the, the line, it said Thomas felt a pain in his boiler and then um, they stopped and discovered there were fish blocking the feed pipe and um, the driver and fireman had a nice um, picnic supper and fish and chips. Whether that happened here, I don't know, but that's possibly where the Reverend Aldrey got the name from. Right, I'm going to wait here and see this steam train pass through. Following the steam train, there we have the class 172s. It's always quite novel, isn't it? Seeing trains pass underneath water. Because whenever you go on a train, you quite often look down over water, but we can't really look up to water. But it's just novel seeing trains pass underneath water. Up there, there's the junction with the other line. The line runs across there to Hatton. So the steam train used that line to turn on the Hatton Triangle. If you want to see the rest of what the steam train was doing today, have a look at Lincoln screen now. I, I was chasing the steam train, so I saw it in a few locations. We now seem to be, we're now going over this driveway, and then crossing down there. Going, it's getting windy now, and so I'm going to make my way to the end of the aqueduct, which is just here. I can see a lot further along. I believe at the next aqueduct, towards Wooten Werwin, which is a great name, next railway station that way, but there is a pub. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do that today, but it's getting a bit cold now. It's just a typical spring day. You see the daffodils around. Right. Just look at that, looking back. That's such a great view. If um, maybe one day I could see the steam train here. The problem is in the summer, all of those trees will be grown up and you wouldn't really see it. If they cut all those trees down, um, that would look fantastic. It'd be a really great place to stand here and watch the steam train pass by and you'd actually you know, get it going under the water. So that that's all quite exciting. And um, what have we got? Uh, hmm. is that a, I'm not sure if that is a footpath. But one thing is, if we go down here, um, we should be able to get a good look at the aqueduct, even if I can't go anywhere when I get to the field. Yeah, look at that. It's fantastic. I have been to other aqueducts in the past. Um, one of my favourites is the Pontesacli aqueduct. I did want to do a video where I walked across that aqueduct and I've never held my camera so hard when I did that one. So we come down to here and here we are with a fantastic view of the Edstone aqueduct. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to like, share, comment and subscribe. And from the Edstone aqueduct, goodbye.